including Breathitt County. Many people say they barely escaped their homes there when the warnings came in overnight. George and MacArthur was there to see the damage firsthand. Hours after I talked to a homeowner who managed to escape his home safely, Michael Holland found himself back in this water again, this time to save his dogs. Parts of the Commonwealth under a state of emergency as floodwaters continue to submerge towns and sweep away homes. Homeowners in Breathitt County face the brunt of it. I don't know where else to say. I have to try to wait for it to go down. I mean, I ain't got nowhere else to go. Michael Holland says he had to rush out of his home in an effort to save his own life. Well, I checked on it last night about 1.30, 2 o'clock, and it like a foot being up atop the rear bank down there. I woke up this morning, it was around the side of the house. And after he got out safely, Holland braved the rising flood waters once again, this time to save his dogs. See my pants hanging on top of the rock rail? They're wet up past their knees. I went and got these and got them wet a little bit getting back over here. This scene here in Breathitt County, unfortunately, is familiar for many residents like Holland, who has spent the last year rebuilding. Here we go. They, they got in the basement like four steps being up top. I filed for FEMA help and everything. They didn't give me one cent. I lost everything in the basement. I had everything upstairs I, I, I managed to save. Now with the water in his basement again, Holland says for the second time, he has to start over. It's the basement part. It's halfway up in it, which you can see that. And if it raises up four to five more feet, it be upstairs up in my, where, my live, where I live at. In Breathitt, Georgia MacArthur, Fox 56 News.